Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to install RHL9 on Oracle VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a free and open source virtualization software which allows us to create multiple operating systems on our computer. Minimum system requirements for RHL9 are as follows. We need at least 2 GB of RAM, 2 vCPUs, 40 GB of hard disk, Red Hat subscription and internet connectivity. The logical steps for installing RHL9 on VirtualBox are as follows. First, download the RHL9 ISO file. Start the VirtualBox manager. Create a virtual machine. Assign resources to it. Boot that virtual machine with the downloaded ISO file. Follow the screen instructions and finish the OS installation. Attach the developer subscription and then start using RHL9. Let's deep dive into the actual steps. Open the web browser. From the Google search or I mean download, click on the first link developers.reddit.com, click on download RHL at no cost. It will prompt you to fill in the Reddit account details. If you don't have your Reddit account, Better first create it using the below link or using this link. Click on next. Click on login. It will now automatically start downloading the ISO file. I'm going to cancel this because I have already downloaded it on my system. Okay. Start the VirtualBox manager. From the machine, click on new. Specify the VM name here. RHL 9. When you type RHL, it will automatically pick the distribution type as Linux and version is 64 bit. Click on next. Specify the VM. VMs RAM, so I am giving it as 4 GB, 4096 MB, processor vCPU is 2, click on next, hard disk is 40 GB, click on next, click on finish, ok. If you want to assign networking to your virtual machine during the installation, then select the VM, click on settings, go to the network tab, under the adapter, first adapter, change this attached to bridge. It will interact with my wireless interface to get the IP. Okay, click on OK. Now I will also boot this virtual machine using the downloaded ISO file. So again, go to the settings, go to the storage, click on this empty and then click on this CD icon, choose a disk file, select this RHL base ISO file. Click on OK. Now we are all set to start the virtual machine. So click on start. Choose the first option. Install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.1. Hit enter. Okay, select the language. So this language will be used during the installation. So make make your preferred choice. Click on continue. Okay. So to proceed further with the installation, we have to finish this marked item. 
the installation destination and the root root user password so click on the installation destination first before that if you want to change the time zone then you can change it from here if you want to disable the key jump you can disable it from here by default it is enabled the installation source is our ISO local media and the system is not connected or not registered to the Red Hat the software selection is by default server with GUI if you want to change the base environment then or the software selection you can change it so I am going with the first option server with GUI click on done now click on installation destination here we have two options either installer will create partitions automatically on this 40 GB of disk or you want to create the custom partitions by your own then choose the second option custom but in this demonstration I am going with the automatic so click on the select automatic click on done set the root password if you want to allow root login with password then click on this option allow root ssh login with password click on done if you want to configure the IP and set the host name of for your system click on network and the host name as you can see it has automatically picked the IP address as DSCP was running in my environment so it has picked the DSCP IP address as the host name is blank you can set the host name like RHGL9 lab click on apply then click on done okay now we are all set to begin the installation click on begin installation okay this confirms that installation has started and is in progress it will take 5 to 10 minutes depending upon your system performance or the system resources once the OS installation is completed, installer will prompt us to reboot the machine. Okay, this installation got completed. Click on reboot system. It will take a minute to boot up. Okay. Click on start setup. click on next if you want to configure online accounts you can configure it right now else you can skip so here installer is prompt you to enter the local user details it, so I am giving the local user detail as Linux Techie click on next set the password for the user click on next click on start using Red Hat Enterprise Linux click on no thanks so you will get a warning message system is not registered so let's register it click on the register system click on the subscription specify the uh, reddit account details here click on register ok registration is successful close the window and from the activities search 
uh, terminal click on the terminal icon get the IP address of your RHL9 machine it's 217 ok now if you want to access this machine from the outside so you can use putty start the putty specify the username as at the rate IP address of your RHL 9 machine 17 click on open specify the Linux key password now attach auto attach the registries using the subscription manager command sudo subscription manager install runway okay this confirms that talent package is installed via the registry app stream registry which is uh, coming from the red edge that's all from this video i hope you have found it useful as always if you have any questions or doubts feel free to drop them below don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this thank you for watching bye have a nice day